right, so here we are with the second round of the Marvel Champions Solo League. And in this one, I've opted for Spectrum. And I'm only allowed to use a basic deck. So I am going to try to rush the villain. And so let me show you the deck that I'm using. It's pretty boring, but I think this is going to give me the best chance of winning quickly. It's loaded with allies, loaded. So we've got Blade, we've got Cosmo, we've got Ironheart, we've got Machine Man, we've got Vivian, we've got Mockingbird, we've got Spider-Man, I'm not done. We've got Lockjaw, we've got Nick Fury, we've got Snowguard, all right? I'm loading up because I'm trying to not flip to Alter Ego at all. I just kind of want to win and win fast. Uh, to help me out with that, I've got two copies of Plan B, two copies of Adrenaline Rush, two copies of Death Focus, one copy of Endurance, three copies of First Aid, whoops, come on, you could do it, and five resource generators. I have not had a chance to te te test this, but uh, you know, uh, these, I'm just pre-shuffling, uh, the solo league started about a week ago. This round two started about a week ago and given my, and it ends next week and given my work schedule, it's hard for me to get games in quickly. So I'm kind of just hoping for the best to tell you the truth. I, I think I've given myself a good shot of winning, but I don't know. This is going to be one of our games that we submit because I don't have a chance to test them out. All right, so my pre-shuffling is done. Let me get the villain board set up and get ready to go. Hey, everyone, and welcome to D-Pad Experience Presents Marvel Champions. D-Pad Experience is a weekly video game podcast published on all podcast platforms and now YouTube. All right, so you heard a big truck pass by. Here we are, round one, game one. Uh, I'm sorry, round two, game one of the Marvel Champions Solo League. I've already shown you my Spectrum basic deck that hopefully will lead me to victory. Uh, but we have been told that we must play against Ebony Maw. And Ebony Maw comes with Army of Titans. He comes with Galactic Artifacts. And we need to start with secure the landing pad side scheme. So that is the plan. All right, so we are now going to reveal the top card and so we get a spell. Uh, here's our spell. It's got two invocation counters on it. Uh, let's shuffle the encounter deck again and get ready to go. I'm on a timer, honestly. So I made a rush deck and hopefully I can win Oh my god, in 20 minutes because I gotta go or else you'll never see this video because I'm uh, I'm not gonna like start and then pause it because then you'll think I cheated. All right, uh, I haven't played Spectrum in a while, so let's lay out our... It says you're supposed to have them like face down, but I don't really think that matters. Like, does it matter? Because then I can't see what it is. So I never understood that. I'm gonna put them over here and I'll use this guy as to let me know which one we're at. All right, so we both put them all face down, all right? And, well, face up, whatever. All right, so we're drawing six. I did everything. One, oops, I draw too many. Two, that's four, five, and six. Okay, good, we got a Gamma Blast, which means we can rush a little early, so. Shoot, we've also got a Death Focus, which is gonna help us, and a Plan B, which I wanted. This Photon Speed is a little useless for us right now. All right, we do want to take the three off of here because we want Cosmo right away. And I've dropped a card already. Did I? Oh, I thought I got all, now you might see my head. I don't know if you saw my head. All right, so what can we do? We can use, do we need to discard anything? I don't think so, because we can use a Photon to play for the Deft Focus, right? Uh, then this would generate one, making Gamma Blast cost two. Here's one, and then I guess we can use Plan B for the two. 
possibly bring out Iron Heart on the second turn, right? Um, we don't necessarily need the overkill already, so what does Photon, a plus two thwart, good. All right, so I think I got our plan. All right, here we go. Let's, I got a piece of dust in this card. It's very annoying. All right, let's flip. What does she do? Force response after you change to a form, choose a face down energy form, upgrade, flip that card. Okay, so we're just gonna use this and we're changing to Photon. All right, and with Photon, we, let's see. We get plus two, th after you change to this form, remove one threat, we'll move it from the main scheme. Uh, she has one thwart plus the two. We'll remove this. This is out of the game. Flip over. We get our doggy. Good boy. Good boy, Cosmo. All right. Now we're going to do exactly what I said. We are going to discard Photon Speed for a Def Focus. We'll exhaust the Def Focus. Use Plan B and Photon Speed to play a Gamma Blast. And then we're going to change to Energy Form and deal seven damage. So we're changing to energy form. Wait, no, we're changing to gamma energy form. Okay, uh, deal one damage to an enemy, plus the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll attack with our doggy for two. Okay, one, two, decent first turn. We'll hold on to this and we'll draw up. All right, I believe I'm drawing five, yep. All allies, not surprised because I made an all ally stuff. When Spectrum Defends changed to Pulsar, Energy Form, and Ready Spectrum. Interesting. When Spectrum Defends changed to Pulsar, Energy Form, and then Ready Spectrum. Cool, so I think this will ready her. Uh, that's great, cool. All right, so that means I'll be defending this round. So this gets a one. Um, what does it do? Uh, enter switch. When it uh, activates, so this goes down by one first. Now he's attacking. I might as well use this, right? Should I use it? I mean, I guess so. Because I won't take damage. And yeah. Can I use this? Hero action. No, I can't use it on this. Um, I'm going to discard a friend. Let's not non-elite non-elite minion choose an attachment is that that's not an attachment or non-permanent side scheme uh she's useless right now so let's use her to pay for the pulsar shield all right so we'll defend and i think i have to play this first when spectrum defends change the pulsar energy form and ready spectrum all right, so I guess that's how that works. So I'm gonna defend and then play Pulsar Shield. I think that's how it works. I get plus two. After you change this form, heal one damage, but I'm fine. So I'm at three defense. So he's attacking for one plus two. Oh, that's great. And I def readied, so I defended it all. And here comes our encounter card. That's not an encounter card. I'm an idiot. Uh, we got a minion. Discard one card at random from your hand. We are losing Ironheart, damn it. I wanted Ironheart. All right, it's fine. I'm moving a little fast because I'm on a time limit. So let's either win or lose quick. What is this? Discard one card at random from your hand. I'm confused. Come on. All right. I only have two cards in my hand. What the hell kind of nonsense is that? How the hell did that happen? Uh, all right. So, what are we gonna do? We can bring in Machine Man, but wouldn't do too much. We could just bring, I mean, we might as well. It's not like we got anything else to lose. So we'll bring in Machine Man. He's got three health. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do anything with him yet though, because um, it's a waste. All right, so let's, flip right uh what should we do we don't need to thwart i thought one of these is remove a card i guess not uh, i don't need to thwart so i need to i guess we're just gonna 
change to pulsar energy form. And do I want you out of the game? Maybe I will attack with him. No, I'll save it. Or we're trying to win quick. Let's try to win quick. All right, so we are gonna attack with him. Then the one damage to an enemy will be to him. So that's two damage, he's out. All right, uh, so now I have a three attack. We'll do three to you, take you to form two. All right, because that was three damage right there. Um, so now you're at 18 health. Oh, I need like a tracker for, the, oh, I left them downstairs. Um, I need to know what turns we are on. So this is turn two right now. This is turn two, I gotta say that out loud. Uh, so discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell is discarded. We need a spell, where's a spell? Four invocation counters on it. Uh, four. All right, and uh, let's uh, attack with Cosmo for two. All right, and we're done. We are drawing up to five. Two, three, four, and five. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. We're readying up. This is just change and draw. Okay. Now, two will go to that. Then what's going to happen? Um, I need to do something uh this gets down these go down by one right these go down activates okay so this goes first uh so now that um remove discard one card at random from your hand and i'm confused okay so i'm confused discarding one card at random from my hand ah shoot i was gonna keep machine man in the game longer that's fine all right so this is gone. This goes down to three. He's going to attack me now. And the question is, do I want to take it? He's going to be two. Um, what cards do I have in my hand? I have some decent cards. I'll probably be playing almost all of these. Snow guard could come in and block for me. I could change forms with blue marble, but I don't think I could play blue marble. Yeah, that's the play right there. So if this is the play, right? If this is the play, then uh, I don't want to defend. I don't want to defend. I want to, which means I'm not going to be able to use any, I need to use all these cards. So I'm blocking with machine man because he's only good if I can spend cards and I can't, I need these. So here comes his two attack. Oh well. Here comes our encounter. Attached to the enemy with the highest scheme, which is Ebony Maw. He gets plus one boost icon. All right. Place two threat on the main scheme and... You know what, I wanna double check something. I want to make sure that I've been playing that card correctly. So, increases the number of boost icons on the boost cards. When a boost card is turned face up during an enemy activation, add one. Okay, great. I That's what I thought it was. You just add one extra boost. For some reason, I was like, do I need to get another boost card? No, but it's just one of the boost icon. All right, now it's my turn. So I'm stunned. Can we do 16 damage in one turn? Is it possible? Absolutely not. All right, but we are, let's do this one first, just in case. Okay, so we are in gamma form. So it means we have plus two attack. So we are going to attack for three. Okay, we're attacking for three, just looking at this. So that's one, two, three. Then we are going to, so I, I haven't changed form yet, right? So now I'm gonna change form to Photon to remove a threat. Then we'll use Speed of Light to change form again. 
to deal damage and draw a card. Cool. What is this? Uh, all right. This is a, this is a resource generator, which means I could play Blue Marble now, uh, but all he does is change energy form. Uh, do I care about changing the energy form? I don't think so. At least not right now. Uh, we could bring in Snow... We probably need Snow Guard to come block for us. I think. So, let's do two damage with Cosmo. One, two... How much health does Snowbird have? He has three. Or you can come in and just get to start doing some damage. That might actually be a good play too. Do we want damage or do we want hit points and ret retaliate? Uh, but I'm hoping to win in two more turns. So the retaliate, but then I, I guess that works because I'll chip damage and I won't lose health. And I think we gain points by not losing health. So let's play Snowguard. So we'll use one, two, three. We'll use these four to pay for Snow Guard. Snow Guard will come in with uh, a total of eight health. And I'm done. So we're gonna drop to five. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, look, Cosmo's back, just in different form. Cool. All right, we'll ready up. And now this will go to two. This will go down to two. He's going to attack. Actually, no, I shouldn't use this uh, because. Oh, did I give him the retaliate before? Actually, it doesn't matter. He's flipped anyway. Um, I'm not going to use this because I could use it to pay for something else. If anything, all right. Here, here we go. Um, you're attacking, I'm defending. So he's hitting for two. Oh, right, two uh, plus two, right? Uh, that's four. Four, but the retaliate's gonna hit him, right? Retaliate hits him. Uh, you lose four health. Here comes our encounter card. Oh shoot, that one sucks. Get an extra encounter card. That one actually does suck. Okay. So that was turn three, I think. Or two. I'm going to have to freaking check this tape again before I submit my score. That's annoying. All right. My turn. What are we going to do? We're definitely bringing in Cosmo. Um, I guess I could just bring that out for... Do I? No. Maybe not. Because then I can just get some extra health. Maybe increase my points for the the game, right? So most of these are useless. Uh, none of these are super, oh, this is a superpower. Oh, this is a superpower. Oh, okay. So let's use Death Focus and a Pulsar Shield to pay for this energy distortion. Okay. Then, we will, then we will attack for three. Um, we'll attack for three. One, two, three. We will use the power in all of us to bring out Cosmo, other doggy Cosmo. Attack for one, I'm gonna call event. No. So Cosmo loses the health, but you lose a damage. Then we will use this to bring out endurance to give us an extra three health. I'll just play it under here. One, two, three. Uh, then I'm going to change to photon form and remove a threat. And I'm done. All right, we're going to draw five cards. One, three, four, and five. 
All right, we're gonna ready. This is gonna go to two. This is gonna go to one. He's gonna attack, Snow Guard will defend. So he's hitting for two. Oh, I shoot, I forgot about that. Uh, he's hitting for two, plus three is five. He takes a damage because of the retaliate, but Snow Guard is dead. Now we get two encounter cards. Attached to your identity when your turn begins. All right, my turn doesn't begin yet, so we'll worry about that later. Here's the second one. You son of a bitch. Two plus one plus two is four. So that's four, so this goes to six. Damn, that's going to kill my point total score thingy. That's fine. All right, so his turn is over. It is now my turn. When your turn begins, place one point poison counter here. Then take, place one poison counter. Then take one damage for each poison counter here. So I take one damage. All right. He has four health left. We're going to win. We're just going to try to win um, with the, the best possible score. So, all right. The best way to do this, I have nothing to help me flip my form, correct? I don't. So, we will, we will thwart for three, right? Plus two, we'll thwart for three. Uh, event, yay. We'll thwart for one. That brings it to two. I think that's it, honestly. Um, we will... I took a damage, right? So let's change form to... Let's change form to... Pulsar to heal a damage. So at least I get some points back from that. Then we will exhaust, exhaust... Use plan B, I think, for gamma form. And I think that's the best thing we can do. Switching to gamma, dealing seven damage. One, two, three, we're done. We won. So we won with full health, 14 hit points. Uh, two threat on the main scheme, which I would have liked to do a little bit better. We had a Cosmo here. And I think we won in three turns, I think. I don't think this win is going to win me any championships, but I'm not completely disgusted with it. Yay, Spectrum!